Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can run JavaScript and see its output in Visual Studio Code. So I have the sample code here and if I try to run this using this, I will not be able to run it. So what we need to do is we need to install an extension that will allow us to run our code. Right, so click on this if you, if you are still seeing this. And now go to extensions or click the shortcut Control Shift X and search for an extension called Board Runner. Now, if you already have this, just skip a few seconds. Now click on install and Code Runner is now installed. So after this is installed, you'll see this icon here, right? You can go back to my explorer here and I have my file here and file is already open. Now, if I click on this, it should run, but I will get this error that says the term node is not recognized. We are seeing this error because we have not installed node to run our JavaScript file. So now let's see how we can install this. Now go to your browser and go to this URL. Click the link in the description and you'll be taken here. Now you need to download node. So you, from here you can choose which version you want to download. So we will download the latest LTS version that is long term stable version, this one and choose for Windows or Mac or Linux or whatever you want. And my Windows is running in X64. In your case, in most case, X64 will be the case. So leave these as it is and click on download Node.js. So let's wait till this download is complete. Once the download is complete, click on open file and your Node installer will open. Now click next. Click I accept. Click next again. And this is where your Node.js will be installed. If you want to change the directory, click on change and choose wherever you want to by clicking this up and you can create a new folder by clicking this. But for now, I'll click cancel because this is where I'll want to install it. Click next. Click next again. And no need to check this. And click next. And finally, click install and your Node.js installation will start. Let's wait till this installation is complete. While this is processing, check out our brand new awesome coding mods. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, we've got stickers for laptops or notebooks, cups, bags, and a lot more. Get it today from the link below. Once Node.js is installed, let's click finish and let's go back to our Visual Studio code. And now let's close this terminal by clicking this delete button here. And let's click this button again. And this time again you are seeing node is not recognized so what we'll do is we'll close visual studio code and open visual studio code again and this time it should work okay let's click this run button again let me again close this click run again and this time as you can see we are printed the message factorial of 5 is 20. so this is how you can run your javascript code in visual studio code if you have any questions let me know in the comments below